Hey everyone, it's Maggie Bat, and um, we are starting out our vlogist at the last, last minute. I'm recording this before midnight, but it will not get out on August 1st. I'm more than okay with that. Uh, today was my last day of work before Gen Con, so I worked until about 6.30, and then I had a GeekoCon meeting. It was just a Skype meeting. It was rather short, but I had kind of scheduled myself uh, a chunk of time for it, and then I had to pack. Um, so right now in my suitcase, it's all just clothing and my suitcase is already full. So I need room for charging cables and my GoPro and all that. Um, I'm bringing an extra suitcase to hopefully bring back some games and stuff. So the, the less room, the better. I might have to eliminate some clothes, but I have a hard time not knowing like how warm it's going to be or how much I'm going to, I, I'm going to need for whatever reason. Uh, I'm super excited though. I have a lot of people to see and hug and love on and I will not get sick. That is my goal. But, uh, I had a fabulous weekend. I had my friend Nicholas visiting from New York city and Nicholas Co is a wonderful human <laughs> and they came out and on Saturday we had scheduled a game of 18 AL. Um, Friday night we went out to a new board game cafe up here and we played Chicago Express and um, Sunday I guess Saturday night we also played uh, Guilds of London and some other games uh, Herbaceous and I'm missing one. Oh, the broom service card game and then on Sunday we ended up playing man oh man my memory is already bad today uh, we played uh, Strasbourg and uh, Via Nebula. So uh, 18 AL went pretty well. It's kind of a lighter version of an 18XX game, and it's shorter, and it's a little less thinky. Um, I foresee myself enjoying sometimes 18XX, but being very, very frustrated by turn order if it's always going to be that kind. Um, it's the type that it's the first player goes to the person to the left of the last person to take an action but that is very frustrating to me in, in, in the way that a lot of euros have allowed for passing order and stuff like that to matter um, I enjoyed it though, I had a lot of fun, I, I, I lost but it's all good I didn't go bankrupt so that's something <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Chicago Express went really well. Uh, I look forward to another play of that. I, I believe I had played that way, way back when in my meetup days, but I didn't remember the rules at all. And it, it's a pretty clever game. Uh, then let's... The Broom Service card game is pretty interesting. So you have 15 cards in hand. Um, everyone does. And ultimately you want sets of cards. And the number of players tells you the number of suits. And everyone is going to choose three cards at the beginning of the round, like, secret. Then someone has to start out, and you say, I am either a brave or cowardly uh, witch, or whatever it is. They don't have the fun names like the full board game, but um, if, in the round, I say, I am the brave whatever, and the next person is also the brave whatever, I lose my action, or I can take a far less good potion and just call myself a coward, but... I guarantee myself the win. Um, I liked it. I like the broom service card or board game better. I have not played Witch's Brew, at least that I can remember, and so I can't compare the two. But um, I, I would definitely pick up this new one. Uh, we all kind of agreed that we would have liked to have full size cards instead of mini cards because it was just annoying to shuffle. But it's still beautiful and fun, and it's just a really nice mechanic. Uh, we played. Herbaceous that night, and then we played uh, the Guilds of London. Guilds of London, I'm not, I'm not sure about yet. I, I have an okay time with it, but it just seems like it's a little bit fiddly and very luck based, and I think it might just be a little too high in luck for me to continue playing it. Uh, and then we got to Sunday. So Sunday we played Strasbourg, which is a fabulous game. You have X amount of cards in your deck, and each round you're going to take a look at them one at a time. And you can decide to stop anytime you like. You could pick up your whole deck on round one and just have all of your cards, or you could have one card. Um, and you just know that by the end of the game, you need enough cards to win enough rounds to get the things that you need. Um, I really, really enjoy that mechanic, and just everything about it is really fun. Um, 
Then we got to play uh, Via Nebula, which is like big, new, shiny, awesome Martin Wallace game. Um, it has been marketed a little funky. I thought it was marketed down to like almost a gateway level, but I would not consider this a gateway game. It has a little too much strategy, a little too much screw you factor. It's a really mean game. Like really, really mean because um, you start the board out uh, with pretty very little on it. You put these tokens out that will populate resources if you if you choose to. And um, once resources are populated, if they can be connected to your construction sites, you can use them. Whoever populated doesn't matter. And you only get two actions a turn, so you really can't complete anything in one turn. Everything is going to take multiple steps. So the game also has where every time you complete one of these buildings, it usually gives you some sort of ability or power. So in our three-player game, we had a little too much of the resource eliminating powers because in my mind, in the mind of Nicholas, um, we were short suited on pigs. So every time a resource was able to be removed from the board, I was going to take pigs because they became the short resource. And if I had control over them, that's better than anyone else having them. We almost got ourselves into a board state where no one would be able to finish the game because you need a certain number of buildings. And every building we could see and both the ones in my hand required pigs. So I lucked out into the last pig that I needed, which gave me a card that allowed me to get a pig out of the box. And that was really the only way we would have been able to finish the game. So um, I still highly recommend it. I, I think this is uh, not uncommon, but not super common. Um, I do think if you could pay a victory point to add another card from the deck into the row, um, that might make a difference. And in lower player counts, like three players, we may even consider pulling some of the cards out of the deck that eliminate resources from the board. Um, there's no difference in the deck between three or four players, but there's a difference in resources. So uh, I, I would highly consider, uh, I'm going to be playing it more after Gen Con, and I will probably consider trying out a couple of card eliminations if it's lower player counts. Um, yeah, so that was my weekend. Um, I am waking up in about four hours to go to the airport and I hope I don't wimp out and I can just put my GoPro in my hand and get some shots of everything. I've been a little bit weird about it. I know. It's just new stuff for me. It's always a little harder and I'm at about 90% stress right now so I don't function the best at 90% stress. Um, before I go I will show you I got um, well, I got The Pursuit of Happiness, uh, which was the Artipia Games Kickstarter, and it looked like a good time. It looked fun. I haven't tried it yet, so I will try that when I get back from Gen Con. But I also got the pretty shiny new uh, Grail Games version of Medici. Um, I love Medici. Uh, it has been through, I think this is the fifth art and different printing, but it's this old school uh, Knizza, uh, like, it's a very simple rule set. It's it's just kind of a bidding game, but the, the the way that you do it and the strategy in it is really deep and wonderful. And when the Kickstarter came out for this one, I sold my old one. So I haven't actually had my copy in a really long time. So I'm looking forward to games of this very, very soon with this beautiful Vincent Dutrait art. It's just so pretty. And it's more functional. The last one I had was a real... Rio Grande uh, older copy and it wasn't very good in low light and it was really not good for uh, colorblind people so it, it's really nice that they've continued like this looks a little bit more like one of the other printings that have existed I'm excited to get this on a table and give it another try uh, so uh, Gen Con um, I Wednesday I'll probably won't be around if I am I will try and tweet where I'm at at any given time um, Thursday I will be at the Nerd Nighters thing and the um, Women in Gaming meetup. Uh, Friday I'll be at the AAG thing and the Drunken Game Designer thing. And then all of Saturday day I will be teaching Prodigals Club for Czech Games. And um, I need to learn how to teach two modules, so that's that rule book I probably need to put on my iPad and, and read it tomorrow so I don't miss anything because I've never... I've never actually played Prodigals Club with just two modules. I always played with three. And so I will be learning that tomorrow on the plane. And I will be uploading vlogs probably just from my phone so they won't be highly edited like this one. Um, but the 
first week and a half of August will have to just be super <laughs> okay and hopefully I'll be able to get some longer cooler videos out at the latter half of the month but I look forward to trying and trying to get as many videos in August as I can. Uh, thanks for watching. I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye!